residential architecture, homes are being built to take advantage of the outdoors and to create a sense of spaciousness. We'll take a look at how this has been achieved in this home. But first, here's Studio 19. Honest design and authentic materials will never date. That simple, timeless style will outlive any trend. Studio 19 takes us through their new range and how every single product and project design passes through the hands of local South African artisans. I forever, even as a child, used to make things. I had a tiny little Barbie sewing machine that I used to make little clothes on and I've always just had a deep instinct for creativity and making things using my hands and actually physically making them. So it's just been a natural progression from um, a, a TV stylist to making things slowly, just bigger and bigger, bigger things. <laughs> I, I think what all the items we design have in common is that they're practical, um, that they, they fill a purpose. In, in somebody's home. So they're never just a superficial item that's going to just sit there. You can, you can actually use it. A lot of our products come from a need to, to provide something for our clients. So often there is a, a need for a wall light or a need for a coffee table or a need for a server and a lot of our products are inspired by those needs. They're never just, you know, occasionally it's yes, you see an amazing building or an amazing piece of art and those things inspire your, your product, but mostly they come from a, a need, a practical need. Our most recent design that we're really excited about um, came about when I met somebody who wrapped steering wheels for a living. And I just thought that what he did was so amazing that I wanted to translate that technique and that craft into furniture. So we designed a chair and a little side table um, and an armchair, all using this technique of, of wrapping tubing with leather um, and, and hand stitched. And it's, we've come up with a range of, uh, called the Smith range. I want all the items that we design to feel a little bit rock and roll a little bit dark, um, but with a, a classic contemporary edge. We generally stick to a, a monochromatic palette. We, we don't use a lot of colour. I find it quite limiting, so I generally use the same colours over and over again. They're always earthy. There are tans and browns and greys and charcoals and dark olive greens. We use similar materials. Um, natural organic materials. We love wool and felt and leather and cork. So we, we stick to a very natural palette. I think inspiration strikes at the most random times. Um, when you feel the need to be inspired, it generally doesn't happen. So sometimes it's just like, oh, I have an idea. And then we'll sketch it out and we'll translate that into a technical drawing, so with measurements and with materials, and we'll have to find somebody to, to manufacture that item. And then that item goes through a product development phase where it gets tested and um, trialled sometimes, several times. Sometimes it's a total disaster and sometimes it works out. But um, that's generally how something is, is born and sometimes it's totally accidental. So. That's generally the journey of a, a product from inception to completion. I do look forward to my rest. We work so hard all year that I think we really look forward to our downtime. But um, I'm looking forward to next year. We've got some great projects lined up and we've got a whole bunch of new products which we're very excited to launch. So I think next year will be great. By supporting local artisans and other creative businesses, we are helping to build a self-sufficient industry capable of representing our country on a global level.